happy Monday morning, and welcome to the kickoff assembly for our annual science fair. Here to introduce the theme of this year's event is the winner of the last three science fairs in a row, Miss Gretchen Grudler. Thank you, fellow students. It is an honor to announce this year's science fair theme to help mankind. For you see, science is not merely a fun and exciting means of expending your leisure time. It's also a tool to improve the world. How, you may ask? Simply devise an experiment that uses science to help others, and you'll discover the answer. And remember, turn in your applications by Thursday night, or you won't be allowed to participate. Now, good luck and good science. Man, Gretz, that speech was wampadelic. Why, thank you, guys. My goal was to inspire unique and thoughtful projects. Well, you sure inspired me. That's why I'm doing the same unique and thoughtful project I do every year. Volcano. Volcano. Volcano? Volcano. Gusatoa? Vesuvius? Mount St. Mikey? Volcano. Volcano. Gretchen? Volcano? Don't even ask, Gus. Gretchen's projects are always top secret. Well, science waits for no kid. Come on, guys. We got fake stuff to make. Happy pyroclastics. Ah, oh, the joy of inspiring one's comrades. Oh, excuse me, I didn't see you there. No, excuse me, Gretchen. I'm sorry, do I know you? No, but I know you. At least, I know all about you. I was hoping you could sign my Young Genius Girl magazine. Just make it out to Becky Benson. I didn't realize there was anyone else in the school who read this magazine. Well, I don't understand some of the more complicated articles, but like I always say, the best way to get ahead is to reach beyond your understanding. What a refreshing philosophy. One which leads me to ask you another favor. I seem to have reached beyond my understanding on my science project, and I was hoping you could possibly offer me some pointers. Well, I have a lot of work to do, but... Oh, why not? I mean, if I'm going to help mankind, I might as well start by helping you. Oh, Gretchen, you have a heart as big as your brain. Here's your problem, Becky. Your negative wire shorts out where it touches the metal clip. Oh, we simply reposition the wire, and... Voila! You know, making a crank generator is quite an impressive project for a second grader. But connecting it to a Princess Polly's Magic Frontier is simply inspired. Even a girl who can't afford batteries deserves to feel like a princess. You remind me a little of myself at your age. You know, it's my dream to win the science fair, just like you. Tell you what, Becky, since your project is all finished, how would you like to help me finish mine? Do you mean it? Absolutely. May I take notes? I recommend it. To science? To science! My volcano is painted green in honor of my favorite team, the Panthers. Well, my volcano dramatically recreates the eruption that helped us defeat the British at Bunker Hill. I've written a verse to my creation. O volcano mighty mound, behold the products of thy molten fountain. Impressive, very impressive. So it sends me to blow you all away with... Mount TJ. Whoa. Rising from the mists on the island of busted shipwrecks. One day, boom, crack a slam. Who alone survives? Just one lost kid and his fun-loving monkey sidekick. That, my friends, is what volcanoes are all about. Cool. Awesome. The finest volcano ever fashioned by the hand of kids. Think so, do ya? Well, does it blow up with terrifying sounds of destruction and a doomsday shower of life like molten lava substitute? Or does it just fizz up with a lame foam of vinegar and baking soda? That's what I thought. Behold, Mount Nightmare, Third Street's first ever battery-operated volcano of doom. Any of you boys want to rethink your own plans? I might be willing to help. Well, this is where the magic happens. In Hank's janitor shed? Wow. And this is my baby. Project 6479235. What a beautiful name. Is it done? Not quite. There's still one missing ingredient. The help of a friend. dress rehearsal. On the count of three, hook up your batteries and say your prayers. One, two, three! Here it is, Third Street's very first working solar-powered generator. At 600 megawatts, could really pump some wicked juice into a stadium folk music retrospective. So... Are we finished? I just need to do a few minor tests to make sure it's working properly. I can't thank you enough, Gretchen. This has been a most... Oh, 
my goodness. What's the matter, Becky? Your science fair application. I just found it on the floor. He can. I was having so much fun that I forgot all about it. I'm sure Miss Lemon is still in her office. I'll just head over there right now and turn it in. Not to worry. I can turn in both of our applications on my way home. Oh, Becky, would you? It would be my pleasure. Today. Tomorrow's the big day, so get some sleep. I'll see you bright and early. Oh, I'll be there. Good morning, Menlo. Good morning, Gretchen. Here early as always, I see. Who can sleep in on Science Fair Day? Indeed. Here to watch, then? I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, you never turned in your application, and you crossed your name off the sign-up list. I what? Quite noble of you to step aside. By the way, you should take a look inside. Little Becky Benson setting up a project that would have given even you a run for your money. Little Becky? <gasps> oh, hello, Gretchen. Becky. I'm confused. You told me you were handing in my application, but my name was crossed off the sign-up list. And you copied my project? I told you I wanted to win the science fair. I didn't think you meant this year. I, I, I trusted you. Oh, come on, Gretchen. You always win. What am I supposed to do? Wait until you graduate? Besides, ever since kindergarten, all I've ever dreamed about is a first-place science fair trophy. There's nothing in school that compares to it. You of all people can understand that. I understand a lot of things. But this, I don't understand this at all. Since our volcanoes weren't blowing up, we did some research and decided to join them all together in a great ring of fire, just like in nature. All we had to do was move up to a slightly bigger battery. Little children and pregnant women, you might want to leave the room. Where's Gretchen Grundler's project? Yes, we want to see Gretchen's. Well, I'm afraid Miss Grundler pulled out of the competition this year. But wait till you see little Becky Benson. She looks to be the Gretchen Grundler of tomorrow. Gretchen not in the science fair? Say it ain't so! Gretchen, what are you doing in here? Oh, nothing. Just building a robotic sidekick that won't steal my ideas and betray me. Hi, I'm Tammy, and I'm honest. You mean that little runt out there stole your science project? You can't let her get away with this, Gretchen. You gotta go out there and tell those judges the truth. Oh, what's the point? I trusted her, guys. I trusted her, and she stole from me. Come on, Gretch. You can't give up. I mean... Did Albert Edison give up when they stole his theory of regularity? Did Benjamin Franklin give up when the Germans shot down his kite? No. And why? Because they were great scientists. And when you're great, you don't let other guys walk all over you. You stand up and say, that's my really cool science project you guys are going gaga over. You know, TJ, it's some strange, bizarre way you've made some sense. Come on, we've got to stop that little thief before it's too late. And so, at 600 megawatts, it could really pump some wicked juice into a stadium folk music retrospective. <laughs> yes, that's true. This is one of the most impressive science projects I've seen in years. Just answer one question, Becky. How does it work? Did you say, how does it work? Well, uh, you see, um... She doesn't know the answer! What it does is, uh, uh... I'll tell you what it does. Gretchen, what are you doing here? I'm here to... to... I mean, what Becky is trying to explain here is that these panels contain photovoltaic cells which create an electric current when struck by photons of light. Becky was discussing this with me earlier. Becky, you should be very proud of yourself. We'll announce our decision in a moment. You... you could have destroyed me. Frankly, Becky, that was my intention. But then I realized that the experimental question here is not whether I should demand what is right, but whether you will do what is right. So, Becky, if all you want is a trophy, by all means, take it. But if you learn something more, well, I'll be in the audience, collecting my data. I am proud to announce the winner of Third Street's annual science fair, Little Becky Benson. Thank you, Principal Prickly. Judges, this is a great honor for me, and... Well, the fact is... I can't accept this award since I, well, I stole my project from Gretchen Grunler. <gasps> All I ever wanted was to be just like her, to be as smart as her, to be as looked up to as her. But now I realize it's not just because she's smart and wins lots of awards that Gretchen is looked up to. It's also because she knows how to be a good friend. Someday I hope I will too. Here you are, sir. But, but then who's going to be our winner? Look out! They're gonna blow! Oh, well, 
I guess the award goes to Detweiler and his friends. To science? To science.